purple. Do you? Hello. Hello. My name is Phoebe Kong. I'm the doctor of the show, and I'll be moderating today's talk. Um, so, first of all, why the way to take a time to introduce ourselves? I'm Brianna Kiran. <laughs> I'm Sydney Reedman. Kim Jubika. Ashley Kelza. Trace Sinlock. Susan Clement. Nina Washington. Kim Gabrino. <laughs> Um, so I will start uh, question named um, <laughs> My first question is Which part of the show is your favorite? Or in which part of the show that you had the most fun? It's all fun. But the crazier it gets now, now six one and then two one six and yeah, two one where Everything's kind of crazy. It's just, it's, it's got to be a little fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. the meat. That's why he says. Um, the second act for me, <laughs> I, run, I run really warm generally, and I'm like, I get two things. One, I run really warm normally, so I get, like, get to take my clothes off, so I'm like, oh, I'm not sweating. <laughs> That's one. And two, that I'm old enough now that I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I'll show my arms. <laughs> 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 In my personal life, I wouldn't even wear short yeah. sleeves, and I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I'd probably say anytime we're all on stage at the same yeah. time, because we, yeah. I think we just have like a lot of fun together, and we play off of each other really well. So, yeah, which is probably the end of the first act and top of the second act when things are the most chaotic. But we're all together building mm -hmm. that, and that's probably the most fun for all of us. Well, for me. I well, like when uh, Chris and, and Bernadette pretend they're girlfriends with our sex <laughs> <laughs> I mean, There's so many it's hard to pick, but I get really excited to do that. What are <laughs> I like running around with the chair. In a crocs. In my crocs. I love my scenes with Harriet. I love the Harriet and Jean scene. Uh, obviously, I love them all. Okay. But like, I really, I just love this relationship. I, uh, I have a lot of fun. It's, it's more simple too. Um, it's versus, you know, so many things. Uh, I love, I love those parts. And I, I was just telling Kim tonight. Uh, I love when we just chase after her and that like, it's, it's the simplest part. Low responsibility. I just, I chase after you, and it, I look forward to it every night. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> you said. Um, I um, am particularly thrilled to be hogtied every night. <laughs> um, I'm very bruised, but we're, we're all okay. It's not because of any of them, it's because I'm clumsy. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I love that. And um, I really love when she is proud to go blow some veterans. <laughs> yeah, I really love her. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I guess my next question is which part is that the best challenging thing? Mm -hmm. I think from as actor, but you can also feel free if you want to jump out of your actor self as a leader when you first read the play, as a you know general knower of the play, um, whichever perspective you want to take. For me, it was the physicality. It almost kept me from, uh, I was afraid to audition for it because I'm a woman of a certain age with two really crappy knees. <laughs> One's made out of titanium and the other one needs to be. Um, and so I was, I was scared. I was scared. But um, Susan and Kevin created a really amazing, safe environment to do some great choreography to make, the, make it look like this whole lady was actually really tough. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I'd probably say the text. Um, it's hard. There's a lot going on all at the same time. It's written very specifically, um, and the story has to be told in that very specific way. And I think getting that down was really challenging. Um, but 
if it wasn't done that way, it wouldn't happen. It's not as successful as a show. So it's like obviously worth the challenge, but it's a hard. There's a rhythm. We talk about it a lot. There's a rhythm to how the show is written. And if we're not on that, then it doesn't feel right. But when we are, it does. So that was a rhythm. I found that too super challenging in rehearsals because it's so fast paced and so chaotic. Um, so the trap was to get like chaotic with your lineup, but, but we were all, we're all such incredible copers and problem solvers. So we all have our little freak out moments, but we're not all freaking out the whole time. So it was hard to like keep up the pace and keep the chaos without like, ah! you know, just, um, it was a challenge. So I'd say that was the most challenging. Middle adults. Middle adults. Susan, what was the yeah, Susan. Susan, yeah. I'm here from you. What was what was the thing that was like difficult from the directing staff? Is that top part thing? Oh my god! Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I think it's a piece of music, and to find the style and the rhythm and the tone. Uh, for this particular play is probably one of the hardest things I've ever directed as far as tone. We, you know, we're riding a line and sometimes we, you know, it, it can go off the rails really easily. So that would be, that would be the thing that <clears throat> we are continuing to, you know, work and create and, and shape. So that was, is super challenging still. Mm -hmm. And, and also when you could hear it, when we would, work it and then we hit those moments everybody could hear it. it's like there it is right mm -hmm. so then that was super fun so out of the method four the question to the four anybody who wants to know anything <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm interested in uh, Susan how would you pick this as something that would fit with our community in this theater because it just seems so perfect mm -hmm. How did you find it? How did you carry it? Uh, it fell off of the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dresser when we did that years ago. That's how we chose that one. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of... Oh, I, I, I saw a friend of mine who runs a theater in Florida on the Facebook. She had posted that they had just done photos, and this is like a year or so ago, and I didn't realize it was available. Mm -hmm. And so I thought we should do this play. And so I was like, Was it difficult in the election year to be dealing with this material and thinking about it in a comedic way, or is it a refreshing as an artist to be able to do that? <laughs> yes, and. <laughs> I think it's, huh. honestly, um, the. Yeah, you know, Susan said this is one of the most um, maybe difficult pieces she's ever directed. This is for sure maybe number one or two of in terms of me as an actor, one of the most, most just difficult rehearsal processes. Not because of um, <laughs> any of these people, but it's just it's such a demanding script. Mm -hmm. Honestly, didn't have time to give a shit about the outside world. <laughs> I honestly didn't. Like I, yes, there are so many parallels you could draw. There's you could have entire papers and think pieces on this. As an actor from the inside, I don't have time. Yeah, yeah. I have to slap and kick and. Uh, it's not like what we did. Yeah. When we did Brecht, we did Arturo Uwe, mm -hmm. you know, and that was when it was uh, two elections ago, right? And that we delved into more of the political world. But I feel the same. <laughs> no, we, we really did. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. I was going to ask, when did you kind of answer it? Did anybody ever see this performed before? I did, actually. Um, I had auditioned for the show, and then I went back to L.A. to, I still had a storage unit there, so I brought all my stuff back. And while I was there, I was like, oh, I'm going to see the show. I can have taking photos at mm -hmm. the FN. Oh. And so it was um, kind of a little torturous because I had auditioned. <laughs> I didn't saw the show, and I was like, oh, fuck. Excuse me. Oh, shoot. I'm going to apologize for <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm not dusty. And it's being taped. 
taped, you know. Um, and there's virginators in here, I'm sure. So, um, but yeah, so I got to see it in LA, and at that moment, I was like, I have to be in a show. Yes. Over again. I mean, you get to see these seven strong women who have such like broad range of emotions, and we don't get to see a lot of that often enough, especially only seven women on the stage. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty cool. Um, and so when I saw it in LA, I was very happy to come back with the part. <laughs> All characters were really, really good. Yay! Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, the question is, everybody from Omaha, and you mentioned LA, you're in LA, are you from Omaha? Yes, I live in Omaha. I just lived in LA for two years or so. I'm from uh, New York City, and I went New York City. Uh, Susan and I went to college together in Westchester, New York. That's where we met, and uh, and I've been back to the Blue Barn for various shows over the years. And I love I love coming here, working with my bud. Yeah, such great photos all the time. That's why I put in this one one option. See, I went to another. Here are I've only lived in Omaha for two years, so I wouldn't call myself from here. I'm from rural Nebraska. But yeah. <laughs> I've been here for 35 years. And... So on the blue bar. I'll be dang there. Oh, yeah. Good fun. If you think. Okay, I think I'll have one more question from the audience. You know, sing. Yeah, I didn't know. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.